everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can change or modify the 2D view of any component used with the bag. For this, I'm going to use a component that I have previously downloaded from the 3D warehouse of SketchUp. So to change the 2D view of any component, first I will need to open it directly with the bag, using the component tool, which is this icon over here in the toolbar of the bag. Okay, this component has been downloaded from the 3D Warehouse and has been created by Marshalls PLC. It's a wood bench, as you can see, and once I open it, you can see that this component already has a 2D view. And that's because the bag automatically creates a random section cut in the component. And this section cut is what the bag displays by default. We're going to be changing the 2D view of this component. We're going to add some details to make this 2D view look much more similar to, to what the 2D view would look like if it was in a top view. And also, we're going to change the insertion point of the component, changing the axis of the same component. So right now, as you can see, the insertion point is in the bottom left of the 2D view, where the mouse arrow is. So we will change that also. First, I'm going to insert this 2D view into the space and we're going to start with the addition. Okay, so once the 2D view has been inserted, you will be able to find this component in the component list of a SketchUp. Here. There are two components. The first one is the 2D view itself and the second one is the 3D component with the 2D view inserted. So I'm going to select it and place it into the space model again. Perfect, now I can delete this one and as I told you in this component that I inserted there is the 3D view plus the 2D view. Perfect. We're gonna insert, we're gonna change now the details of the 2D view. So I get into the addition, I edit the component, and I'm going to move away from the 3D view, the 2D view. For example, two meters away, so I can edit the details without any obstacles around. Once the 2D view has been moved away from the 3D model, I can get into the addition of the 2D view and I can start adding all the details that I want. For example, let's create some lines. Okay, I'm going to be reversing the faces, deleting some details, and for example this line over here I'm going to copy to this place and then make some copies from this one. Okay, so as you can see, this 2D view resembles a little bit more to what the 3D model will look like from the top. Now after we included some details, now we can insert also some materials. So I go to the bucket and I'm going to copy this material and I start adding it into each one of the lines of the wood bench. Good. Let's go for the other material, which is this one, the base of the structure, and we copy it here too. Perfect. Okay, so now we have already changed the 2D view of our component. We're gonna place 
and move again this 2D view where it was, was two meters away, so two meters back. And now we're gonna change the insertion point that I mentioned to you before. As you saw in the video, when we inserted the 2D view in the first instance, you saw that the insertion point was where the origin of the axis are now. So we have to change the axis of all the parts of this component, starting from the whole component, then with the 3D view, and then the 2D view. We need to put this axis in the same position. So we're going to start from the first one, we click and we change axis. And we go to the place that we want to put the axis and the insertion point from now on. So in this position and in this position. Good. Now we go to the 3D model. We right click, change axis, and we do the same thing with this axis and orientating them in the same direction. And finally, we do the same thing. We edit, we do the same thing with the 2D view. You see that all of them are where it was at the beginning. We need to change all these. Good. Here we go. Perfect. So once we have add the details of the 2D view and change the insertion point, we're ready to save this component as a new one. So we right click, we save as, and for example, we're going to be calling it with the same name, but calling, putting the back in front. Okay, so we save. And to see the changes that we have done, we go to the model, we're going to open the component tool, but in this case, we're going to select the one that we have saved, the back, the metra. We open it, and now you can see that as we have done before, the details are here, the insertion is where we placed the axis, and once we insert it, we can see all the details that we changed before. So very easy, very fast, as always. And this is all. Thanks for watching this video. See ya.